Hey. Hey, where'd everybody go? Where you? There we are. What's up, everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School. And as you can see today, we're going to be talking about this lovely GPS tactical range bag. Let me tell you, this is a game changer here, okay? Welcome back everybody. And like I said, we're going to be talking about the GPS Tactical uh, Range Bag. Uh, the company is GPS Tactical. All right? I'm not just saying Tactical Range Bag. All right? The company that made this bag is GPS Tactical. Uh, they have uh, other great bags. Some are backpacks and things like that. But this is a just an awesome bag to have. Uh, to use uh, especially um, I would say definitely a heavy shooter I don't like to sit here and say instructor competition shooter okay if you're a heavy shooter you're going out to the range uh, you might be taking multiple guns with you uh, especially I mean for yes competition shooters and um, instructors this is a great bag because it gives you the option to hold 10 guns yes I did not stutter it gives you the option to hold 10 guns and much much more so this is a great great range bag I get people asking me all the time you know, what do you use when you go to the range um, this is something I definitely have out uh, in my classes um, especially my permit classes so people can come and see the range bag and it gives me an option to put some different guns in here so people can come and look at them so uh gps tactical call me uh, just playing all right i'm just playing no this uh, this is not anything where they gave me this bag to review or anything like this i bought this with my own money but hey if you want to holler at me <laughs> Just say, all right, no, I'm not really, no, yeah, I am. Okay, back, back to the back. 10 guns, 10 guns. So the bag will hold 10 guns, yes. Every time I get up and get ready to go to the range, it looks at me and goes, feed me, feed me. So, there you go, all right. All right I'll just kind of stand up here. There you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Pocket here, seven. All right, you got a pocket here, eight. You got a pocket here, nine, and a pocket here, 10. 10 guns. Now what this is, this is just something I bought separately. So while we're talking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and ba-bam. Magazines. Holds 18 magazines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <gasps> Sorry, public education didn't help me out. Uh, 16 mags, forgive me. It will hold 16 mags. You got your clips here to close it up. All right, you even got a little storage pouch right here to put stuff. Comes with a little handbag. And look at that, you got Molly stuff on here too. So something to kind of a great compliment to the range bag right there. So it gives you a way to hold extra magazines. Okay, so as you can see, I've already got some guns in here. Uh, yes, all of them are clear. If you don't believe me, come over here and check for yourself. All right, you've got a spot for hearing protection. So this is your spot for hearing protection. This right here is a spot or your glasses okay now I actually use these pockets for these are for dummy rounds this is just kind of extra storage all right so for me 
this pocket here is actually where I keep my eye protection, this big cases. All right, so I keep it there. Now I can probably drop it down in there because once I take this out, you see, you've got all this, look at all that down there you can use for storage. So, you see everything, all right, look at all that. I just stick that down in there, depending on what I got going on, all right? If I'm carrying other stuff, then this might come out and go somewhere else and I might store stuff down in there, okay? Technically, if you look, at, look, they even kind of label it. You got your ears and your eyes, all right? And your pocket here, they're saying this pocket is for a binocular, all right? I've got my eye protection down in there, whatever you want to use it for. This right here, this pocket, all right, it's for tape. Well, what do I have in there? Leatherman. Actually, I didn't realize that was in there. I need to move that up here. Okay. So then you have, then you have your pocket down here at the bottom. All right. And all the way deep. All right. I keep my extra batteries. All right. I keep some tape. Um, little multi tool here. I'll be doing a uh, separate review on this bad boy. So this is a little multi-tool to help me make uh, gun repairs on the fly. This will be coming out in a separate video, so be on the lookout for that. All right. You put mags, boxes of ammo, I mean, whatever you want to. So you've got your little pocket down here at the bottom. All right, not very tall, but it is a very deep pocket, okay? Then you have your front pockets here. So with my front pockets, of course, you've got spots for patches. So I've got my lovely little patches, okay. All right, if you want a good place to go for uh, mixed martial arts, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, get in shape, fit to fight. Uh, Ryan Hoover up in uh, Charlotte. Uh, Ken Scott with Provectus Group. Uh, right down the road from us is a great place to go and train. Okay, and then I got my patches from Blackwater. Uh, my buddy Pete with Carolina Custom Phone, got to go with him over there and they gave us some pretty cool patches. Uh, yes, it does say kill all pedophiles. I'm not gonna get on that soapbox. Of course, I got my logo, Patriot, and then I've got NOC. So another great place to go, NOC, Kevin Dixie, no other choice, is a great place to go and get some other firearms training. Uh, but we'll unzip this pouch, open it up, so I've just got um, random stuff down in here. An extra uh, magazine with some rounds in it. Okay, I got me some... Just never know when you're going to need them. I got me some fancy ones. I'll all break down for you. So really, I could probably clip those uh, outside somewhere. Or if I needed to, clip them on my molly over here. So I just kind of drop them right down in there. Then you got some little bowls. Okay, this is a spot where you can take, put patches if you want to take this out. But say you got some loose ammo laying around out at the range, you got somewhere to put it so it doesn't go rolling off. I mean, these just one sits down right in the other and then right in there it goes. So pockets for storage plus a place to put some extra ammo. This whole thing is waterproof as well. Now, I mean, I'm sure if it's flooding, that's a different story, but if it's out in the rain, it's not going to hurt it. Okay, and then this pocket, da, 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 more magazines. So you can get this if you need to keep more. All right, all you're getting in here is eight, and then you get 16. So just some options for you there. This does, you know, like if you're not that heavy of a shooter where you're shooting multiple guns or needing a lot of mags, then just this might be suffice. This does not come with it. This is sold separately. I did buy it separately and again opens up. There you go. Put your mags down in there. Close it up. And then again pocket in the front, Molly in the back while we're over here talking about it. Now we've got another pocket over here. This is for according to this hearing protection and your stapler. Now for me what I've got down in this one is I always keep um, extra speed loaders. All right, as an instructor, I know what it's like to um, 
need these so I always keep some extra. Unfortunately, one of these disappeared on me at a training event. Not seeing anybody stole it, just in the chaos. And then I always keep some extra mag pouches just in case somebody needs mag pouches out on the range. Uh, Pete, ah, you know what I'm talking about? I gotta pick on my buddy Pete with Carolina Custom Phone. Speaking of that, if you need uh, or want some, just some cool ass stuff done with the inside of your gun case, go check out my boy over at Carolina Custom Foam. All right, what he does with gun cases and the foam inserts and things like that is absolutely amazing. Um, I've got him working on one for me with my logo and I've kind of picked up the nickname of Tactical Santa um, with everybody in the gun, gun industry. I shouldn't say everybody, with the vast majority. Everybody that I train with and hang around and uh, work with and stuff, they've all deemed me Tactical Santa. So working on some logo stuff for that as well too, but it's gonna be a badass case. I cannot wait to see it. Or if you just need uh, some inserts for your case, say you've added a different optic or the foam in your case is tearing and ripping or whatnot. If you just want some plain inserts, you need to go to this man, all right? His inserts are to me, the best out there all right i haven't seen i haven't found anything better okay if you want to challenge me on it um you can challenge me to a duel so i shouldn't say that being done so i don't literally mean duel back to back some of you mofos out there will take me little on that shit but for real if you want some cool ass shit done to your gun case um he could probably do some stuff i could probably rip all of this out and he could probably do something for this thing so not just gun cases um, trunks things like that and not just guns all right if you've got camera equipment or um, tools or any I mean he can do anything you know, the man is a genius when it comes to foam so tools camera equipment whatever you need to put in those cases you need to go check him out uh, but here is where I have an extra set of ears so I keep one pair of ears in my truck all right because anytime i'm going to the range more likely i'm going to be in my truck but i keep an extra set in here in case i ride with somebody and forget to get those out of my truck and then last but not least oh, it's got wheels that's right folks it lets out and leans over and vroom 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 you got some wheels to roll this thing around Push your little button, close it up. There you go. That to me right there is what I love about this thing. All right, and two, I had to push the limits on it at a training event because we had to park and then walk. And it was like, get your shit and go up there, get everything you need. So I actually had ammo can, ammo can, ammo can stacked on top of this thing, dragging it across a uh, open field with high grass and bumps and it's it, it freaking awesome I mean I had a lot of weight on this thing I'm not gonna lie I was a little scared that it was gonna break but nothing broke nothing bent I mean it handled the terrain like a champ so that is why I want to get this thing out here and let you people know about it this this is just to me this is a game changer right here having the wheels now you can get this with the inserts like what you've got in here in a backpack version so if you don't want the wheels you want like a backpack version um, this part is actually would be like so let's say this is the backpack you're looking at it would have a little pocket right here in the middle you unzip and then it would have these kind of inserts right in there for you to put guns in but now i think the backpacks they have six to eight guns i don't know if it holds ten like what these do but as you can see back here you've got a little thing for targets so you can roll your targets up stick them down in there these are just all right uh, some targets i got from a friend got a little turkey head on it i mean i don't really do any turkey hunting but look i can make dots i got this square i got this head it's still something i can shoot at and get practice so I got targets with me all the time. These aren't the main ones that I use. These are kind of a, a backup and why I have them in here, just as a, an add need, as needed, okay? And then of course I got my shot timer clipped on. But let's say I'm gonna do some traveling. I don't want this thing getting bumped or smashed or 
ripped off, I could open it up and stick it down in here. I could put it in one of the pockets. I could put it down on the bottom pocket. So I've got places where I can put this other stuff depending on what I'm doing, but this is just a, a great little bag to have. You know, go over there and check it out. You're not gonna go wrong with this or with, to me, from what I've seen, any of their other bags of products that they have available for you. But this right here is just an awesome bag. It's made, it's made things a lot easier. Because before I had just a handheld bag and I couldn't, I could put 10 guns in there, but I couldn't put 10 guns in there and then be separated like these are separated and not get some dings or scratches or things like that. So just a great bag to have. Again, GPS Tactical is the company that makes these. Okay, they're, I will say if you're an instructor, um, competition shooter, or just a heavy shooter where you might be shooting multiple guns, or if you're taking a training class to me, if you're going to take a class, it does not hurt to bring one extra of what platform you're using. So if you're taking a rifle class and you're doing a rifle to pistol transition, I would take an extra rifle, I would take an extra pistol. That way if something happens to one, you got something to fall back on. If it's just a pistol class, take an extra pistol. It doesn't hurt. I always take something extra just in case something goes down. Hell, some of your competition shooters probably take three or four guns. Okay, you don't want to get there and have something happen and then you not be able to finish because you didn't have the, an extra firearm or a mag break and you don't have an extra mag. So this right here is a great, great, great bag to invest in. I think I caught it on sale. It was like 135, 140, somewhere around there. So... And I wasn't even really looking for this specifically. I was just kind of looking to see what was out there because I knew I needed something bigger than what I had. Uh, and it's funny, my old range bag, I've actually turned that into my, uh, not cleaning kit, but cleaning bag. Or I should say my gun maintenance bag. It's got all kind of stuff in it for cleaning, maintenance, and stuff like that. So I might do, might do a review video on that. Um, talking about that later especially I know I've been getting a lot of people asking you know what do I what 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 do I need to get started as an instructor so you're gonna have multiple calibers coming in so a universal cleaning kit I'm gonna, we'll, I'm gonna delve into that video later maybe see if I can get uh, some help from uh, Ken Scott and Kevin Dixie and get them to uh, jump in the video as well and let's do a little collaboration so we'll We'll see about that. But I wanted to get this bag out here and let you know about it. Let you know how great it is. It's got, so you, again, I, one thing I forgot to show is you've got this padding right here that helps hold the guns in. That way they're not getting bumped and jammed and slammed around. Uh, but this is thick padding as well too. I mean, this is a, a good sturdy case. Uh, yes, I'll be honest, I have dropped it. Uh, it wasn't dropped that far from about waist height. Um, guns stayed where they were supposed to. Um, nothing broke, dinged, damaged, or anything like that. So, good bag to go check out. GPS Tactical is the one that does it. Go check it out. You can get you a little rolling bag. Okay, I will say, hey, you don't see many people with this. And let me tell you, when I roll out of range, everybody's like, damn. Okay, so good bag to have. Go check it out. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description so you can go in and look at pictures and stuff. We're gonna waste a lot of time going through each little thing. You can go and see, you've got six slots, four pockets, two, two, you got two pockets on each side here, big pockets in the front, pocket here, spot for your targets and everything, and then your handle comes out. And if you wanna add in a little something, don't forget your little uh, mag carrier depending on how much you're shooting, because you could even go and put mag pouches on these and carry even more mags. So just some options for you on what you might need uh, a good, if you're wanting a good range bag to get out to the range. But I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Uh, also, while you're down in the description, go check out all of our sponsors with Sutter Law Firm, uh, Get Right Personal Training, 
Lau Welding and Grading, and UAG Custom Shop. UAG Custom Shop is our gunsmith. Um, he does phenomenal stuff over there. So please, if you need work done, and you don't have to be here local, all right, reach out to him. All right, there are ways you can send things back and forth uh, through mail, FedEx, things like that, so stuff can get done. So go over there and check them out. And always go check out uh, NoOtherChoice.com. We're our first affiliate with them. And use code SCGS5, like South Carolina Gun School, SCGS, and the number 5, all together. Okay, and you'll get a discount off of some nice little NOC swag. Uh, he's got gear and optics and mags and all kind of stuff. Go over there, check them out, use the code, and save you a little bit of money. Okay? Again, hope everybody enjoyed the video. Thanks to all my sponsors. Thank you to everybody watching, all my supporters and subscribers. I cannot tell y'all how much I appreciate it. Be on the lookout. We've got some really great things coming now that we've hit a thousand subscribers. So please continue to like, share, comment. The more we grow, the better things you're going to get. Um, and we're also going to be working on some stuff with Patreon as well, too, to help people out. So great things are coming. We're growing. We're not going anywhere. Go check out our website, scgunschool.com, and you will find our calendar and stuff there. And if you're not local but you want some training, we will come to you because, as a matter of fact, uh, in 10 days we're going to be hitting Atlanta. Okay, so ATL people, if you're watching, go check out my website. All right. NOC, no other choice has gotten us down there. We're going to be doing a pistol training class, so go check it out. Questions, concerns, reach out to me. Be glad to help in any way I can. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.